Hi everyone, good morning. This is Ida with Created to Create. I wanted to share a project with you um, that I've been working on. I'm actually working on some things uh, to go in a something that I created for a collaboration that I'm in with uh, Tamika, who has scrapped the world. I can't share my project with you yet because my month is August. She's doing it a year all, every month, so all year long. It's a new designer, and I think uh, Robin. Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs was this month, I believe. And she had Amador, and of course Tamika's creating as well. I'm not too sure who all's on the list, but my turn isn't yet and it isn't here until August. But I was creating some things to go with that theme of what I'm creating. And I wanted to create some little typewriter embellishments. So I picked up a die and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but now that I'm working with it. I really like the way it looks, so I'm going to share the embellishments with you. Look how cute they are. They are adorable. And um, I did emboss the, uh, the typewriter. I cut it out twice, and then I cut out the uh, other pieces, that, the layering pieces, out of the designer paper and some foil paper. And then I, uh, I cut it out of the... Um, what do you call it? The foam board from the Dollar Tree to give it some dimension. Uh, and I love using the Dollar Tree foam bo uh, core board because it's got paper on both sides of it and paper sticks really well to paper. So that's what I use to, to do uh, make dimension on my projects. And the dies cut very nicely through that. I added some very tiny flowers right here from uh, Wild Orchid Crafts. And then the little note right here, it does come with a stamp set. I'm going to share that with you, but look at how cute they look. And the little piece that's up here is actually the little pieces that come out of the keyboard. And I just kind of glued it up there just to give, uh, bring in some color to the top. But I really like the way these came out. And then I got the micro um, black pen. Somebody gifted me this pen. I actually didn't buy it. It was either doing the secret a secret Santa swap or some Happy Mail. And I don't remember who gifted it to me, but it works really well. It's very fine. So this is the one that I used to do the, the letters on the keyboard. I went in and did the letters. And after I had done that, I used the glossy accents to... So they actually are raised, so they kind of feel like uh, the keys to a typewriter. So I really like the way these look. And this little note actually can come out. It has a slit up here where you can slide it in and out. And I didn't glue them so the recipient, if they wanted to add a, another little note to it, they could actually just use it as a template and cut a different one and stamp something else or handwrite, whatever they want to do. So anyway, that's the first one that I created. And um, then they're all they're all the same. Here's another one. The only difference with the last uh, three, I didn't emboss the back because a lot of times we use these and we glue them down and nobody's going to see the back. So I didn't glue that down, but look at how pretty they are. They're very pretty. So I have uh, four of them here and this one had uh, some scripture. I was doing something with scripture. Uh, I am going to incorporate scripture into this project and as I'm creating, I will share them with you. Uh, but I had this piece that didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. But I decided to go ahead and cut the, the paper piece out of it to look like if I was typing scripture. And then, of course, these other ones just say a note to, just to say. But they're very, very pretty. So I want to share with you the die that I use. It is a die by Marianne Collectibles. It's this one right here. I will link it in the description box. Um, when I ordered mine, I got it right away because uh, it was available here in the U.S. And I did check to see if they were available. And they are available, but they're just going to take a little longer to get it come in. And I did get them off of Amazon, so I'm going to put that link there. But it comes with the, the, the whole piece, and then it comes with the layering piece for the keyboard, uh, the, the one on top, and then this one is the paper. And then it comes with stamps, guys. So you have all these little, uh, just a note, hello, a note to say. Uh, with love, a message for you, and happy birthday. So it's got several little uh, stamps that you can use that will fit on the little piece of paper 
to put it into your project, but I really, really like this die. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but it turns out that I did. And, um, um, and I would definitely buy that again. It's, I, I highly recommend it because I really, really like it. And, um, and I also was working on a card, so I'm going to move these. And uh, and what I use, guys, I don't know if I mentioned it. I did use the glossy accents for the uh, the key, uh, you know, uh, the keyboard. And I have found, I have tried glossy accents, keeping it in the original bottle. I had the, tried several things, and it would always get clogged up. But ever since I started using these bottles, the glossy accents doesn't clog up. I never have any trouble with it anymore. I, I used to dread using it. Oops, you know what I did? I left my glue open. I used to dread using uh, glossy accents because I was always looking for a pin to unclog it. But with this, I really don't have any trouble. So anyway, this is what I created. And I am using the, the Havana paper line by Prima. I'll share a piece with you right here. Look at how pretty it is. I believe uh, creates... Um, I believe Abby still has this in her shop, so I will link that in the description box as well. I'll link the pen and the, um, the glossy accents and the little bottles and also the um, the die for the little keypad, uh, the little typewriters. And they're real tiny, guys. They measure about uh, a little over two inches wide, maybe two and a quarter with the handle. And in the height, depending on how far down you stick the paper, uh, they measure about two and three quarters from top to bottom in the height, but they're very, very nice. So I'm going to remove these and I'm going to share this. Like I said, this is the paper line that I'm working with and I'm going to share with you. And the embossing folder that I use for the back of the typewriter is this one. This one was gifted during the um, Not So Secret Santa Swap. And this is by Lifestyle Crafts, but any rose or flower or any leafy uh, embossing folder or any that you like will work well. I will list some in the description box, but I usually just find something with a rose or maybe lace or something like that. In this case, I use that one. So let me remove these because I want to share the card that I created as well. And I am including a card with uh, my project or some cards, should I say, with my project. Ah, uh -huh, really? <laughs> Things are just falling. I got a bunch of little scraps here where I just cut these out this morning. Um, this is the card that I created. Uh, and again, I used the 4x6 of the Prima Havana paper. I love to, when I buy my paper, I always try to get the 4x6 because I love that you can use them. They're the perfect size for a card. So I, the one I use, it says Chase Adventure. And it's got a little bird with the flowers. And then I added inside. I made it kind of like a shadow box. And I added flowers on the inside and some some uh, leaves. And there's a lot of gray in this paper and the leaves. So I decided to color these in a gray. And I have to share some markers with you guys before I get sidetracked. I was actually looking for... I see all you guys uh, sharing what you hauled at... Hobby Lobby, all the dyes that are on sale. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go take a drive. Maybe I can pick some up for some Happy Mail. Well, when I got to my store, which is about 45 minutes away, <laughs> that's just one way. They didn't have any. Nothing was on sale yet. Not that they didn't have any. They weren't on sale yet. So I didn't buy anything. Believe it or not, this is the first time I spend under $30 at Hobby Lobby. But I bought these markers, and they are by um, Master Touch. And they're right beside the Copic markers. And these are $5.99, but they were 50% off. And then the Copic markers were right beside it. So I opened one of these to see what the nib looked like, if it was firm or it was soft. These are comparable to me, uh, like uh, the Copic markers, except they're $2 less. And they happen to be 50% off. So I got a really good deal on these. And... Um, what I do recommend, though, is that I bought the same letter, but the numbers are different. So I could use one as shading and then my lighter color. And um, I focused more on buying because I did wanted some gray ones. So I bought gray ones that I could use together. 
I didn't buy a pink and an orange and a gray, something that I probably couldn't fade in well. I, I stuck to the one color and hopefully we'll collect those. And I did get some blue, blue grayish ones too as well. And as you can tell by the numbers, they, um, they work well as far as shading. So I stuck like, I stuck to one color and the, um, the different, um, darknesses in the colors that way I could use them and I'd have to sit on them till I bought some more so anyway I used those gray markers to color in these uh, little leaves that my friend Jacqueline had gifted me a while back and she gifted them to me in white so I used my markers to color them in and and they came out beautiful I really like them so you have the leaves on the inside the little roses on the inside the little hip roses and then on the outside I added some more of the leaves a little butterfly there's a butterfly inside as well and then a rose sitting right on top and then there's another leaf over here with a gray bling that I picked up from Michaels a while back uh, but I love the way this looks I haven't put my sentiment in uh, but it, I can tell you it's going to be Christ-inspired. So that's all that I have to share with you guys today. Um, because I, like I said, I am going to make them Christ-inspired. And I've been playing with, um, you can see the foil on here. I've been playing with my mink machine and my, I do have a toner printer. Uh, not the inkjet, but what do you call the other ones? It's the printers that you use a toner in them. That's the one that I bought because I wanted to be able to print out a laser printer. I wanted to be able to print out different things and then just put a piece of foil and run it through my machine and then be able to have it in whatever color of foil that I wanted. So I kind of cut out this uh, one scroll and added um, scripture on here. And uh, that's what I'm going to do with my cards. That's what I'm going to be playing with. But, you know, I really like the way these things are working out for me. I hope that you like, um, I hope that you all like the little uh, typewriter. I really love it. And uh, I hope everyone, everyone's having a great day. I know I have been away for quite a while, but I've been focusing more on uh, scripture, you know, on the word of God. I've been, you know, hopefully... You know, scripture tells us that faith without works is dead. It doesn't mean that we're saved by works. But because we're Christians, you know, there comes something with faith, which are acts. So I've been, you know, really trying to focus on that and, you know, praying for people, really praying for people and not just saying, uh, yeah, I'll keep you in my prayers. And then I don't pray. No. That doesn't work for me. So I've really been trying to get back to that place with my relationship with the Lord and being active in the body of Christ. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone is having a great day. And I hope that you like what I created. Look at how cute that typewriter, that little typewriter looks even there. So thanks for watching. Bye.